Hello and welcome. I want to show you how to record sounds in any land. So first um, you want to have some instruments around you because you will be playing them live as you record. If you don't have any instruments, you can open your inventory from your backside and search for, for example, for piano. Piano. So I just grab this out and I can then use it here. I already got a piano here. And let me create a little sample song. I hit create thing and I drag out any shape that will store the sound, it can be anything, and now I context laser it. I hit when then, and you can use any event, I will use when starts, which is very useful for sound. When starts, then play, and now there's an option play track, and as soon as you hit that, it will start recording. So get your instrument ready and hit it. So now you can see whatever I played right now is entered here as data. I can hit OK and it will be saved here. If I want to preview, I click here. So the sound is now coming from here and if I would go further away it would be quieter as well. Now maybe I want to overlay a second line. Just context laser this again and I will choose second line and I will use when starts then play and I will hit play track again. As soon as I hit play track here the other line will automatically start to allow me to synchronize the two. So let's give this a try. And now I will play back. So there you have it, a uh, two lines track. I could also add drums, I could add trumpets, any instrument that is available to me, and not just instruments, any sound effect. If I want to have this doorbell or a doorbell with a stretch effect, and I can just add it as normal. Something else you can do is you have a few parameters, like you can have quantization so that your rhythm will be perfectly um, in certain time buckets. You can adjust the volume of the whole track. You can speed it up. Um, let me give you an example. Let's speed up the track I just played. Maybe let me delete the secondary line. And I go back to the first one. And now I just type with. And I'm at the options. And I will choose with 1.5 speed but let me actually tune that to 2 times speed. Now let's see what that sounds like. So that's a bit faster. Another option for example is to loop it. So let me pick with loop and let me actually save now. Okay, that's the looping. You might have noticed there's something blinking here. So let me explain what, what is happening here. So whenever a soundtrack is playing back, it will send tell events into the area. So any other objects can then receive that event. For example, let's say my soundtrack is this. It will then send the note here. I believe this is C3 and then Maybe this one listens to that note being played and then does an animation glow. Let me context laser this little thing there. It says, when told by any track played, let me open the full. When told by any track played, and then it's followed by the tone name, tone C3, could be anything. Maybe this is called doorbell, so it would listen for played doorbell then become next in 0 0.2 seconds, which in this case turns it to a different color. Yeah. 
maybe let's set this up for the doorbell, for example. Create thing. Let me create a little button here. And when that button is pressed, it will play a doorbell. When touch, then play doorbell. Here's a sound preview. Um, let's try. Okay. Oh, we have a little listener here. Let's try a different shape. Maybe like this. And it's like at the start. Context laser. When told by anything in the area. We already got an auto completion here. Track played. And this one is called doorbell. Then, then what do we do? We become the next state in 0 0.2 seconds. Click on the next state and now we can do anything we want. Maybe add a little color. Maybe rotate it. And after a little while, maybe in one second, go back to the original state. Okay. So, because it's only listening to tracks being played, this won't work, but create a block here to listen. Context laser, when starts, then play track. So now we recorded this track here, save it. And whenever that starts playing, this one will shift and turn. Let me make that touch based. Whenever you click here in the input box, it will go back a word. When you click here or here, it will go just forward or backward a letter. So we want to go here. We don't say when starts, we say when touched and play track. We save this and now I touch it, it plays back the track, and this one is alerted to the track playing. Well, that was just a little example. Normally, you can do something more useful. For example, you could do a tutorial piano that has little laser dots here, and they will highlight. Um, for example, they will shine in red whenever that note is played from any track anybody made. So then you could have a little play along piano. One other useful thing is to find soundtracks playing in the area. Maybe there's a track playing and you forgot where you put it, but you want to disable it. You can do that by just clicking the area icon and turn it around and there's a little highlight dialog here. Click that. Now you page through a bit and there's a button here called soundtracks. As soon as I hit this button, you can see it will tell me I found one item in the area and it will be highlighted here. No matter where you stand, you can see the highlight color shine through. And that's how you can find soundtracks and maybe delete them like this. One thing that's very useful if you have a looping sound is to have it as a soundtrack for the whole area. So as soon as somebody enters, wherever they are and wherever they will go, it will play back. I already added a looping sound here, but you can hear when I move further away. It's quieter. How do I make this to be a surround sound for the whole area? Just context laser creation, edit clone, and hit the dot 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 settings for the whole thing. And there you will find a little attribute surround sound. Click that, hit save, and now, even if I go further away, it will still play. So that was a small intro. I hope you're enjoying the sound feature and see you in the next video. Bye bye.